Alright, in this video we are going to be making a, a climbing bypass ring, which sort of looks similar to this. It, it has this bypass sweep, but it's also um, coming up and meeting the crown. So, let's go ahead and start. Uh, the first thing I did was brought out a stone and a head that matched um, similar to what was in the picture. And that's our base for the ring. Um, the next thing I did was use my view picture frame and I brought in a couple of those pictures here and I kind of scaled them in so they would look appropriate. Uh, let's see, I put this one here at the, the ring rail, sort of straightened it up a little bit and then the looking down view, I just made sure this diamond matches up. So, let me go ahead and lock that layer and we'll get started here. So the first thing we're going to do is start out by grabbing some curves and we're going to be doing this uh, mostly in like a curves from two view kind of fashion. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to pick a, a nice vibrant color and let's go with or, or I mean green and we'll start drawing this out here. get the inside unless we're just trying to grab that inside that's going to be coming out right there and then lastly we can't really see what's going on down here but we're just going to take a stab at it Alright, so there's our top profiles. Then in a different color, we're going to go in here and grab our, our side profiles. So let's go ahead and just start laying them out here. And then lastly, got this last guy over here. Alright, so now we've got those curves laid out. So let's go ahead and start doing some curves from two views here. And actually, you know what, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, this looks like it's on the wrong side. Just gonna mirror that over from F4. So there we go. Now we've got things lining up on the right sides here. So let's go ahead and get a profile out there. Uh, let's go ahead and hide that. We're just gonna start building our own custom one here. Um, let's see. We'll do something like that. Go out to maybe here. Mirror that over from F4, and we'll throw an arc on the top. There we go. Join that up. Alright, so let's go ahead and, actually that looks a little bit wide, so we're going to go ahead and scale that. There we go. So let's go ahead and start doing some curve from two views. So this top curve right here is going to correspond with this center curve. So we're going to do curve, curve from two views. All right. Then we're going to do this lower curve and this outer curve. Curve from two views. All right, so let's see what we're working with here. This outside of the ring, as you can see in the picture, see if I can pull that up here. 
Um, as you can see, the side, this top, turns into the side of the the ring here. So we need to make these come down to the side of the profile. <coughs> so to do that, I'm going to go ahead and draw some lines here on the edge of the profile. Go straight down. Alright, and we're going to try blending these. I'm going to go ahead and split this line with a point right about here, the turning point. I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Okay, so I'm just going to hide these. Actually, you know what, let me just turn those a different color. Alright, so let's go ahead and try this. I'm going to use my blend with handles. Choose this one to here. And let's just look at that and see what comes out. That actually looks pretty good. Um, if you want, you can grab this end where it's starting to blend and move it a little bit to give it a little bit more of a, a nicer shape. And then I have it set to trim, so it's just going to trim it automatically when I finish it. So that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and try this one. Blend, select here and here. Alright, and that dips in a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this end and move it up until it makes a nice, nice even flow. Alright, so there we go. Alright, so that that's looking pretty good. We're going to be surface modeling this this ring. Um, so these are these are looking like good curves. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one up. Mm, actually, that's got quite a few um, control points. So I'm going to go ahead and rebuild that also. Got a curve rebuild. It's got 35. So let's try 19 previews. You can see not much of a change. Let's bring it down to 15. Also, not much of a change. Let's try 11. Slight change. 11 should be good. Let's go ahead and bring that back. I'm just going to move this point so that it meets up here. So we're going to have a nice uh, point where it comes to a point. Maybe I'll just move this one out a little bit so it bows. There we go. That looks good. Alright, let's go ahead and join this up. So now we've got a couple rails here. And let's go see how that, see how that looks. I'm going to go ahead and split this profile into four. Let's go ahead and sweep this. Sweep two. It looks pretty good. I'm just going to add a slash in here for consistency. There we go. Alright, that looks pretty good so far. Uh, so let's keep going. Alright, now let's go ahead and put these on red. Actually, you know what? Let's keep them on a different color. Let's go ahead and get our bottom profile here. So we know that. Um, actually, let me look at that picture again. Yeah, we're still working on the wrong side here. It's not a problem. Um, let's see if I can just rotate this around. Oh, I guess not. I wonder if I mirror it. Oh well. Um, anyway, let's see. Let's just move all this over to the other side. Uh, can we just mirror that from F4? There we go. So it is a little bit off, but that's all right. Um, this doesn't really line up correctly either. I think the picture might be a little bit rotated.